welcome to another Tweaking Man video. Today we're going to be making an upgrade cable for a set of AKG K51s. Right, this is what we need to do the job today. Uh, our conductor material is uh, 0 0.40 double silk covered, 10% cladded copper. Now this is a really good conductor because it's using double silk over the conductor to give it a very low dielectric constant. Right, we also need for this job, we need some PTFE tape, again, which we use. Um, these are the plugs that go into the headphone, and then a 3.5 jack plug at the other end. Um, we also need some black nylon braid, uh, some black heat shrink, some silver solder, and um, a pair of scissors, a soldering iron, a heat gun, and an old tuner to plug the plug into. Right, okay, we've, we've made two conductors earlier on, well, we covered two conductors earlier on. We've covered the, over the silk with the PTFE tape, and now we need our third conductor, so we're just gonna measure the same length. These, these conductors are made um, one meter 300 long, because that's the length of the cable we want. Well, it's actually slightly shorter than that, but it takes uh, into consideration the twist, what we need to do. So we'll take it up to there, and we'll cut that off there. Now we have our three conductors there now, and we've got to cover the third one in PTFE tape. Okay, we're going to start off by covering the third conductor. So we need to start the PTFE tape. This is a tricky bit when you first start it. Just so it doesn't slip off. It has a tendency to slip off. Start that there. The only reason we're using the PTFE tape over the top of the um, of the double silk is just in case the, the, the double silk was to open and then the two conductors would be touching each other and you'll, you'll, it'll short the cable out. Right, we're coming to the end of the uh, PTFE tape. We're only putting one layer on this. Um, so we'll just go around there to the end. This is quite time consuming, um, but um, it's worth it in the end. I need to go back to about there. Just shy. We don't want the PTFE tape to con touch the conductor on these. So what we're going to do is going to stop it there. Trim it off. We'll just roll it back on itself a bit. There we go. Right, you see your conductor still sticking out the top. Okay, the same on both ends. Right, now we've got our three conductors now ready. So what we're going to be doing is we need to indicate what's going to be the ground wire and what's going to be the left and right channel. So we're going to keep the ground wire as just plain white. Okay, now these are our two, these are our two um, left and right channels. So what we're going to do, we're going to use a red, red marker pin. We're going to put some red all over the, the end of the, of the right conductor. Okay, that's that one done. And then for the... For the left arm, I'm just going to use a blue, a blue pin. Just cover it right around so you know you haven't missed it and that, and you know it's not going to rub off too easy. That's that one. Now, same on this. You'll, you'll, you'll have a piece of the, um, the silk hanging off. We'll just trim that off after. There we go, that's that. These are our conductors now, the three conductors. Um, so what we're going to do is we make sure they're, they're all at the same length and that. So we push them all together at the end and just make sure they're all at the same length. And now we're going to just twist them like so. And we're going to twist all along the cable. Now this is the twist that we're doing. So uh, we'll carry on down the cable. Right, okay, we've come to the end of our twist now. So the whole cable... Um, the, the three conductors are all twisted together. Okay. 
Right, okay, we're going to be using this very thin black heat shrink to go over the whole cable to keep the uh, to keep the, the twist all in place. It's in place, but we'll just do it, give the, uh, the cable extra protection from knocks and dents as well before we put our nylon braid over the top. So we're going to take that, we're going to snip that off at that point there. Okay, right. Okay, that's our heat shrink there now. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to thread all the, uh, the, the, the three conductors that have been twisted together through through the There we go. Right. Right through the cable, right to the other end. <clears throat> okay, now we've put the uh, the heat shrink all over the three conductors. Now we're gonna we're gonna heat them up and shrink it to the cable. This will just give the uh, cable a bit more robust to keep it from getting damaged or anything. Right, okay, we're coming to the end of the uh, three conductors with a heat shrink around them. Right, there we go, that's the... that's the... The whole cable now, or the three conductors with the heat shrink over the top. But what we're going to do is just stick a piece of, uh, yeah. uh, just just mark the uh, the ends again so we can see them clearly because they start to rub off the more you move them about. So just put a bit more colour on those bits and that. Um, there we go. That's that one. And same with the blue again. Just twist that bit of PTFE tape that's coming off there. Get around it. Okay. Right. right, okay, that's that. Now we're going to be fitting our braid over the top next. Right, okay, we've got the heat shrink around the three conductors now as well, so we're going to be cutting some of our nylon braid to give it a really professional look. So we'll take that up to there, take it up to there, then we're going to snip that off with the scissors for now. There we go, now we're going to seal the end of the... Uh, of the nylon braid up with the end of the soldering iron just to make sure so it doesn't start fraying and that. Right, okay, we've got our nylon braid sealed, sealed up at the end and that now, so we're going to need to push the conductors through that as well, but we're going to just put a bit of PTFE tape on the end of it, just so it doesn't bend all the conductors up as they go through. We can pull it off afterwards. Right, that's that. There we go. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start threading this through there now. Open it up. So to keep, keep just push it through like that. See, bring bring the plastic braid up so it squeezes back. Try not to bend the conductors too much. Now this cable is going to be slightly thicker than the original. Um, the conductor material is, is thicker than the original as well, obviously. Totally m superior to the original as well. Um, just keep going through there. Well, I've got a nylon braid all over the cable now. And we're just going to take this PTFE tape off what we put on there. Over the conductor so they didn't get damaged as they went through. Right, okay. So these are the conductors now. We need to just make, push the insulation 
back a little bit with your fingers so the conductor shows at the ends and that but you're going to need to solder those on okay now this is the uh, headphone connector there so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be plugging this in we've got to poke through the the back shell of the connector so we're going to have to just push that through like that We hold them free together, but that don't undo it. This is always very fiddly, all these jobs. I'll try to get that braid through that now, which is quite difficult. Right, we've threaded both of our shells onto the, the back parts of the um, conductors, so we need to separate all these now. Okay, that one's separated there, so it'll stop it from falling off as well. And colours are there, the blue, the white tends to, it's, it's touched the blue, red a bit and had a bit of red on there but don't worry about that, we, I know what one it is anyway so, right okay, right okay we're soldering the uh, the ground wire on first, there we go that one's on there, put that back in, I'll be soldering up the first connector now, alright don't check that's got enough on there, there you go, that's that one. Is that actually stuck on there or not? Right, okay, we're now soldering our third conductor. Or well, the, the second uh, conductor, I should say. Right, okay, that's on there. So there we go, it's all ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap a tiny bit of PTFE tape around. That now, now I've soldered it. There we go, keep all that nice and bring up the end of it and screw that on. There we go. So that's one plug on one end, so we're going to do the other end now. So we the connect on there. Right, okay, that's that one. Okay, we've soldered on the uh, the other end. They're really fine these little uh, these little plugs. They're, they're quite difficult to to do, but it's gone on there fine. Um, just a bit of PTFE tape around it again to hold everything in place. There we go. Right, we'll just trim that off. Right. Okay. Now we can just screw this end up put it back a bit get it up screw that on okay we've got our connectors on both ends and that and it looks very professional now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be adding a little piece of heat shrink on either end of those so we'll do that now we've got some black heat shrink here We'll cut it down to about so big just to make it so the uh, there's not so much stress on the conductors every time they move the uh, heat shrink helps it a bit more so we're going to do one of those there and another one it's about the same length chop it off about there nice and straight when you cut it right okay this one here is going to be popping it through there like so over the I always find this gives a nice professional finish as well to the cable. So we're going to do that. Get, some, get our heat gun. Get the cable. Remember, don't go up too far to nylon braid. It can melt a little bit with your um, with your heat gun. 
So that's that one done. Now just the other end. Pop the other end in there. So we've popped our heat shrink over the end of this one now. We're just shrinking it onto the table. Okay, this is our headphone cable totally finished now. Um, basically, plug it into there. It goes into there. You can twist that in as well. I haven't twisted it in yet. Um, so basically, this has turned these set of uh, AKG 451s into a very good set of headphones now. I mean, this can't be understated, this cable. This is really good. Um, I would say you're probably going to need a couple of hour, a couple of hundred hours of listening to run this into the, the optimum amount of sound quality. So there we go. Okay, thank you for watching another Tweaker Man video. Like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye.